Welcome back to DHN. I'm Wade Teamer. So we have some breaking news from the Hedera ecosystem. SKUX has partnered with Visa. They have signed an agreement to accelerate digital transformation for the merchants and consumer packaged goods companies leveraging SKUX payments based solutions. Now, I don't need to tell you, but this is massive. The speculation is already surfacing that Visa could be the next governing council member. We just had the leaked information in regards to City possibly being number 33. Either way, it could be one of the two. They could switch it up on us. Visa could be first, followed by City. But I think this relationship is a reflection of what's to come, which means that they're putting this down now in order to maybe six months from now make that announcement that they're number 34 or 35 depending on how many uh prospects hedera has to join the council now let's go over to the press release from business wire another amazing publication because they give you the sources right here guys the people who signed off on this read this and sent it to business wire a berkshire hathaway company now, let's dive into the juiciest portion of the article. I have it here. The Visa and SKUX agreement will enable Visa's clients the opportunity to engage directly with SKUX, driving value creation amongst B2B and B2C payment flows for merchants and manufacturers. This will help merchants drive customer acquisition, digitize customer care and recovery, and target product level spend. SKUX complements and enhances Visa services to enable our mutual customers to stay at the forefront of innovation and interconnect the customer experience from hello to buy. Together, our interconnected solutions drive client and customer value upstream to deliver a low friction, more personalized commerce experience. Now, when it comes to major players in the Hedera ecosystem, this is one I haven't had the opportunity to dive into yet, but the story, it gave me the opportunity. So going all the way back to 2021 is when SKUX first joined Hedera Hashgraph. That's how you know they've been around a while. The company was still called Hashgraph. So they came in to bring trust, transparency, and fraud-free transactions to consumer offers and settlement. Now, what does SKUX do? Oh boy. So we're talking about payments between businesses and consumers and what this looks like are rewards programs loyalty points your ability to so walmart has a situation not just walmart myers and other companies through partnerships like doordash and instacart where you can pay for your goods and have them sent to you right currently the payment system it's based on your credit or debit card, your bank account, or whichever currency you're going to use, EBT, right? Those systems currently controlled by major players. It's very centralized. But SKUX puts a blockchain, excuse me, a DLT infrastructure in the middle of it. Now, you can see the brands here, ladies and gentlemen, right? But let's keep talking about what they can do. Buy anything, anytime, anywhere. Ultimate flex, uh, shopper flexibility to SKUX platforms enables you to swiftly and securely deliver a variety of branded digital payments directly to a mobile device. Ready to spend online, in store, anywhere, tap pay is accepted. In addition, buying at certain times, merchants at specific locations, if you're looking to customize payments to create a more optional consumer experience, you can use our dynamic payment controls to ensure usage is restricted to a specific merchant location, category, or time frame. Really gives a completely new perspective to Wendy's dynamic pricing move a few months ago, right? But guys, embedded intelligent payments into your business today, customer care, don't care about that. Healthy benefits, nice. Incentives and promotions, okay. Employer-funded wellness, all right. WIC EBT and SNAP programs and government disbursements. Disbursements. This is going to keep me focused on SKUX from this day forward, ladies and gentlemen. Do you know how big these two things are? I don't know if any of you guys know someone who receives these, but I can tell you something. If DLT is about to be incorporated into this, and keep in mind, Hedera is a member of a government initiative to ensure the responsible development of digital assets. Reported on this about eight, nine months ago, that initiative that they joined 
gave them access to the Department of Health and Human Services, who runs WIC, EBT, and SNAP programs. On top of this, ladies and gentlemen, Hedera added another governing council member earlier this year named Mondelez International. And you can see just by the picture, consumer packaged goods. This is what they're talking about, consumer brands. And when you know it, SKUX is partnering with them as well. And you can see the brands that Mondelez International owns. We all know them. So what we can imagine coming from this through these brands are new rewards programs, new incentives. You'll be able to, let's say, let's just imagine here, get dynamic pricing, or there is a application that you can use where you can compare the prices of a good and see which one is the cheapest so you'll know where to go. That's the environment that's being created here. Again, over the coming weeks, I will be tracking this like a hawk because when it comes to consumer facing adoption, it don't get no bigger than this. And then listen, what am I always telling you guys about Hedera? This is America's DLT and it don't get no more American than Mondelez International and all of the junk food that they produce. <laughs> all right. It's junk food. We know that they have some healthy options, but healthy food is always more expensive. What's going to catch though, are the big name brands that everybody knows. Oreo, Honey Made, Ritz, Chips Ahoy. Come on now. I can't wait to see what happens. Now, I did just bring up Hedera as being America's DLT. Outside of this news, which broke this morning, guys, there's another story that broke in the last 24 hours. The Hashgraph Association, which is the Swiss-based foundation that supports the development of the Hashgraph technology of Hedera. Well, Earlier this year, they announced a strategic partnership with the Ministry of Investment of Saudi Arabia to launch a deep tech venture studio in Riyadh, a venture building program worth $250 million over the next five years. That's going to take us right up to 2030, ladies and gentlemen. Now, right after that, this is the news here in the last 24 hours. They signed with the Qatar government to endorse the venture studio with over $50 million over the next five years. In collaboration with the Qatar Financial Center, they will establish a digital asset venture studio aimed at creating regulatory compliant DeFi solutions and bankable digital assets on the Hedera network. But it gets even better, guys, because, and this is why I love following these companies on LinkedIn. They just give a little bit more detail. But stay tuned for strategic initiatives to be announced later this month at GITEX Africa that will offer tremendous opportunities for the Hedera ecosystem and the Hashgraph Association. So you know I had to figure out what GITEX Africa was. Well, later this month, Hedera holders be expecting another announcement because this is the largest tech startup show in Africa. They're gonna be talking about AI, trade finance, things like that, and which is very interesting because when it comes to trade finance, Africa is the Mecca, right? Then I also discovered this and shout out to, what was his name? Hadera Herrera Herrera again. <laughs> You're my new favorite follow this week, okay? But he posted this out early in the morning. Hilo Biz launches VDS software as a service platform for catering to debt-based financial products, including tokenized securities on Hedera's DLT network. Now, we also have the press release that's going to give us a little bit more information. So let's dive into this. It says using the Hedera decentralized network, Hilo Biz is providing an infrastructure for small and medium businesses to help reduce the overall cost of servicing loans, facilitate easier movement of capital from a surplus location in the world to a deficit one, and use features of programmable money to bring efficiencies. The offering includes access to Vanya Debt Platform, a securities and loan tokenization module available off the shelf for lending businesses to handle digital currency based transactions and deploy on Hedera immediately. Mm. Immediately, ladies and gentlemen. So this brings Hedera into the world of trade finance. Now, I really never thought I'd, I'd say that, but it's happening. And a few months back, Shane Higdon had some very interesting things to say about the world of trade finance and how Hedera could be involved. And on top of that, I picked up a book this week 
about international trade. I had to read it because I wanted to provide more perspective when we talk about XDC. Well, now I'm going to have to apply that perspective to Hedera as well, because if you think about it, well, I'll just put it like this. When we talk about XDC, we bring up bills of laden, digital documents. Well, ladies and gentlemen, that bill of laden is attached to 16 more documents. <laughs> it's there are irrevocable credits, revocable credits, confirmations, so many other terms that associate with these documents that all have to be packed up into the bill of laden. And what I'm learning as I'm reading this book is that the value proposition to be addressed here is all of those individual applications that go along with the bill of laden. If you're able to digitize the associated documents in the bill of laden, then you emit, you reduce the trade finance process, the funding process from minimum four to seven days to four to seven minutes. Now you also have to keep this in mind as well in trade finance, the biggest gatekeeper steal the banks it's still the banks so you have to establish strong banking relationships nine times out of ten if you're an exporter or a manufacturer or a buyer of large goods eh, let's just say um consumer goods right let's say you're shipping a truckload of these to an overseas location instead of the traditional process which includes signing the bill of laden the confirmations any credits any approvals from a bank, the approval of the sender, the approval of the seller. It's a very complicated process. But if you can automate all of that into a smart contract, which is what Mr. Higdon talks about in this article, then you again re reduce that settlement time for the process from four to seven days to four to seven minutes. So you talk about an in, in a, a world of trade finance that has just been accelerated thanks to Hedera and their DLT. <laughs> so guys, this was very big. Had to really get this out. I got a couple other pieces of content coming out later today. This will drop this afternoon. Again, this news is coming from this morning. If you see it the day after, I'm pretty sure Hedera is probably gonna make a move on the price chart. The rest of the market is green as well. But this is massive, guys. I had to report on this. If you wanna pick you up some Hedera, you guys already know what I'm using. Uphold. It's an all-in-one digital asset management platform. They're a channel partner. So yes, if you use the link in the description, I will get compensated. I want to thank you in advance. Now, keep in mind too, crypto assets, highly volatile, very risky. Never put in more than what you're willing to lose. However, if you do take that risk, I would advise you to move your crypto from an exchange and put it in a hardware wallet device. The hardware wallet we're using is the SafePal S1. They've been a channel partner since 2021, and I've been using the S1 with no problems ever since. So again, thank you in advance. With that, it's time for the best part. If that money is digital, so is the hustle.